Mall of America. For more than 30 years, it has been a retail leader and an international destination, and it remains the largest mall in the U.S. Not to mention it welcomes millions of guests from around the world. It's huge, but it's also so much more. In this podcast, you're going to hear the real stories of how it started and why it continues to thrive. You'll hear about challenges we faced along the way and what you can learn from them. We will feature guests and experts from all walks of life and business, and along the way, you'll laugh, learn, and maybe even change the way you look at things. So if you're a fan of the mall, a brand new visitor, an entrepreneur, or a dreamer, prepare to dive deep into so much more. This podcast is presented by the Bloomington Convention and Visitors Bureau. Welcome, everyone. It's so much more. Uh, We love getting started like this. Uh, It is the most wonderful time of the year. We are almost to Thanksgiving and Black Friday and the holiday season. Everything's ramping up. And we're so excited that you are here listening and viewing with us. Welcome aboard. Glad to have you here. We're excited to have my colleagues with us, a couple of my co-hosts that you've seen before. Uh, Grant Bunchy is co-hosting with me today. He is our VP of Marketing. Welcome, Grant. Thank you very much. And Chris Grant who's VP of Experiential here at Mall of America, is here in the guest seat today. Welcome, Chris. Really excited to see how this is any different than my other role as host. Thank it's you it. for having me here. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> it's not going to differ at all, but glad to have you here. Love the shirt, by the way, just saying that. Thank you, thank you. And Fresh off the rack. I know. Not dusty at all. Yeah. And speaking of another uh, fantastic shirt that we have today and a wonderful guest, one of our colleagues, Matt McCormick, and Matt leads our our um, rewards program and our loyalty program at Mall of America. Welcome. Yeah. How are you, Matt? Thanks. Great. Happy to be here. And thank you for wearing that shirt. I wanted to be festive. We're talking holiday, so this is my. We are. Festive. I love it. I think Aloha this is a, shirt. Your like indirect plug for people to watch the videos. You keep describing it. Right, right. It's like, hey, don't just listen. Watch the videos <laughs> yeah, as well. It's become a holiday fashion <laughs> podcast. Yeah, for yeah, sure. yeah, you're exactly yeah. right. And for those that are just listening, man, are you missing something? Right. You're exactly right. Um, so thanks for pointing that out. I love it. We're we're going to start this conversation really quickly, Chris. Uh, the holidays are really, we're a couple of weeks away, a week away or so from Thanksgiving, Black Friday. Ta- tell us what's going to happen over that weekend and what we have to look forward to here at Mall of America. Sure. Uh, for just a second, I'd love to bounce back to the attire. So yes. part of the reason why I bought this new garment from Psycho Bunny, one of my favorite tenants at Mall of America, is we were decorating Moose Mountain for the holidays this morning. And it is a very, very dusty location. And I forgot that we were recording and didn't bring any other clothes. So I used it as an excuse to change out of my raggedy garments and put on something nice for all of you here today. And luckily you work at the nation's largest and best shopping mall, right? I felt pretty confident (laughs) I'd find something, uh, yeah, acceptable. But yeah, so we're we're in the midst of getting ready. Uh, As you know, lights go on, everything's ready uh, this Friday. And uh, a lot of that is the decor and the lead up to it. So Candy Cane Institute, the world's best visit with Santa and the elves, is getting set and ready. We have new guests gags and uh, experiences for guests uh, in there that I'm really excited about. I Stuff that a lot of people here haven't even seen yet. So I'm really excited for the team to see it as well. Um, but I'm feeling really good about that. Decor for the Yule Log shoot is well underway and Moose Mountain as well. But it, it's it's all those other things that we are getting ready as well. Black Friday is a huge component of it. We've talked about it before. So it's a lot of the team members working together with tenants to get those prizes and gifts yep. for folks. And uh, we have just a wild variety of entertainment that will be here over Black Friday weekend as well. So the big Bells to Go show that's going to be happening in the Rotunda, uh, plucked straight from Disney Parks. One of our co-workers, Mary Ryan, saw them there and fell in love with them. And so we have them here for Black Friday weekend. Really excited about that. Talk about that a little bit. Paint a picture for those that have never seen them before. I will do my best, but honestly, it is a sight to behold. It is. It is a trailer full of bells, which sounds wildly obnoxious. Like giant church bell kind of bells. Yes, exactly. Of different shapes and sizes. And the um, player is smashing away on these large pedals and handles to get them to to activate. And it's like, it looks very aggressive, but because things are so heavy, he's just drumming away wildly, uh, kind of like Animal from the Muppets. But there's a light <laughs> show that's built into it as well. Yep. So we're, we're excited to have them here and just offer something different that's really high energy. Uh, it's a mini Mannheim steamroller. It's a one-man Mannheim steamroller holiday show is what it feels like to me. I loved it. And I just saw, I don't know if you guys have walked around the mall at all today, but- 
most of our decor is up already. The the giant trees in the ro- in, in the rotunda are up, and that's where that bell will be as well, right? Yep, we're going to put them in the rotunda. Really excited for that. It's going to change the makeup of the rotunda for the weekend. But again, it's such a high energy experience. We're really excited to get that in there. The I number of people that are just watching the trees get set today in the rotunda. It's, it's, it's just fun. Like, it's, it's, it's crazy. They're just like, true. you know, all excited. And, you know, they come to the mall. They weren't anticipating watching these giant trees go up. And then, you know, they're just really excited for it. And r- shout out to the folks from Crawford Murs who are putting it together yeah. and have put Santa hats on their hard hats and are down there uh, putting it all together. Yes. They're in the holiday they spirit, They're in right? the holiday spirit. I love Absolutely. It. Yes. I love it. Um, Grant, let's go over to you if we can. Your team, the marketing team, right? Uh, you lead the deciding on what the theme will be for the year and stuff. And I love what you guys landed on for this year. Tell us about it. Yeah. So this year's theme is Believe. And, you know, working at Mall of America, there's lots of different seasons and our guests change per season. So our spring break guest is different from our summer guest to our fall guest. But the holiday guest is a very, very special guest for us because it's more than shopping. It's more than going on rides. There's this sense in holiday that it's different. And it's the sense of magic that happens. And we really wanted to tap into that this year with the Believe campaign, not only for our guests, but also for us as a brand and really stand for what we believe in, right? Chris mentioned a little bit around what um, we have in store at the mall. Like we, there's fundamentals that we believe in during the holiday time period. We believe in giving the best guest experience. Yep. We believe in yep. community and giving back and finding the best deal and having those traditions. There's a lot that we believe in that we wanted to express to the public that's out there as well. So this campaign is all about believing. Um, We believe in finding those best deals, rewards. Matt can talk about a little bit more in detail, but just really excited for it to come to life this year. And it it really encapsulates our 31 year history, right? Because that's what this brand has done for 31 years is believe in the the fun and the excitement of the unknown and the unexpected and the surprise and delight, right? And of doing well, good in the community and connecting people. There's so many things. I love it. Um, you talked a little bit, Chris, about Black Friday weekend, and you can jump in too, Matt. You don't have to wait for loyalty. You're okay. welcome to jump All in right. whenever you want. Um, but can you guys give us a hint of People that have been here before on Black Friday morning, uh, what might be similar to years past and what might not be, and you don't have to give away any secrets, um, because I know there are some different elements this year, Mm -hmm. but talk a little Mm -hmm. bit about Black Friday and when should people come? Well, frequent and often. No, I I, I mean, it's, it's, again, in years past since we made the decision to close on Thanksgiving, it really was about bringing that sense of celebration and ceremony back to Black Friday. And one of the things you talked about is tradition. Now, there are many guests who have the tradition of coming here uh, all throughout the year, but Black Friday especially. But we know that every year there are going to be people that are coming here for the very first time. Yes. So it's important to put this, uh, put a show on. And while some things are the same, some things are different. Uh, We are very excited to bring back uh, some of the old favorites, like the mystery gift campaign for the previous six years has been a huge hit for us. But we have some ideas on how to make that a little bit better and different and maybe more exciting as well. One of the things we talked about is nostalgia. And one of the things that's missing from Black Friday is the doorbuster. There are no more doorbuster doorbuster no. deals, right? I, I mean, a lot of people are trying to call doorbusters that are going on right now doorbusters, right. but truly that Black Friday doorbusting magic, like that doesn't happen anymore. Yep. But wait, we have, more. A, we, we, we <laughs> have a way more. to go. So yeah, so we had the idea to literally create a way for people to bust through doors, Kool-Aid man style, I and get it. a gift. So it's going to be really fun, high energy. And one of the things I wanted to talk about, because a lot of this, this belief, right? There aren't often times where you can put an ROI on a feeling or on an emotion, but because of the programs we have in place now, we can incentivize people to scan in for these things that we Partic- ask them to participate in and see what they do as guests and see what they engage in. So we're getting closer now to rather than just anecdotally having, well, we've captured this and this, this looks great, you know, uh, talking to people on the floor. Now we have a way to also capture some other information about these guests. That to me truly is exciting. And I love that's it. one of the cool things about the rewards program this year. 
right? In the past, it's been very, very spend centric, mm -hmm. right? This year we can focus on more of those other things that we're saying we believe in, right? Whether it's uh, a donation for Toys for Tots or attending our Festival of Trees event, um, you know, more of those belief things, we're able to now reward our guests for participating in those elements, which uh, is something brand new this year, which is really cool. That, that is really cool. Thank you, Matt. Uh, go back to the basics and explain how someone joins the loyalty program, how they earn rewards, and then go a little deeper into sure. during the holiday season what they do. Because that's yeah. a great point. Yeah. So uh, the, 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 the Mall of America's loyalty program launched in February of this year. We, we developed the program, first of all, by listening. Listening to what our guests wanted and listening to what our tenants wanted. Um, so we developed this program, which is um, a, a set of uh, transactions where guests earn points. Dan, you're one of our our most frequent earners. I'm sorry, you said one of? <laughs> one just, one of just saying. Of. Okay. Just saying, right. everyone. All right, sounds he like a goals. competition. Everybody has goals, <laughs> yeah. right? And Dan has goals to get to the top of that mountain. Uh, he's not there yet. Yeah. Um, but every time a guest comes to the Mall of America, they can earn points, whether it's um, shopping at one of our great stores, dining, um, or taking part in some of the great events that our experiential team puts on. So there are lots of ways to earn points. Everything is based in the new Mall of America app, um, which is a brand new app that we rolled out in February. Uh, it's really easy to download, create an account, and get started. And easy to navigate. Easy I mean, to it's user-friendly. It really is. Yeah. And the point thing for me, it's kind of gamification. Absolutely. Right? So it's just like any receipt I get, I've got to scan this. I've got to uh, yeah, scan this, yeah. right? Because I, I want to see that point total. I think we take this to the next level. And I think we I run too. your point total on screen for those viewing the podcast. <laughs> Let's, so every week they can play along and see how you're doing. Should we do that? <laughs> we can, right we every week. Give, that's right. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's great. We can absolutely give regular <laughs> <Dance> points <laughs> updates. And is there, are there bonus points during the holiday season? Do you get yeah. additional points? How does that work? So um, during the holiday season, all of our members earn $4 or four points per dollar that they spend. Normally they earn one point per dollar. Our premium users, because we have a premium tier yep. where you earn points faster. So you earn five points for every dollar that you spend at the premium tier. Uh, in addition to the faster points, you, are, you have uh, access to uh, about $75 worth of different rewards, including a Nickelodeon Universe wristband, which is always one of our most popular rewards. Yep. So this year, our premium members, they get one Nick Universe wristband to start, and then they can earn points faster to get to their next six that's wristbands. A, that's awesome. Yeah. Some of the other th rewards people can use are they can use it for VIP parking, VIP, valet yes. parking, yes. right? Yep. Valet parking. Which during the holiday season, how awesome is that? That's a that's going to be awesome during the holiday season. Yep. Our premium members also have access to um, a set of reserved spots. Yes. They're first come, first serve. Um, but there are reserved spots for our premium members. Um, climb Zone. One of our great new attraction tenants, you can get a free climbing session. Uh, these are all based on our premium tier. Yeah, then and, and you can get a VIP tour, I think, right? I think is that if a, I remember correctly, yes. I, I'm pretty VIP sure you can. Tour what is, I've heard is those tour guides are pretty dang amazing. I don't want to know. Don't want to speak for them, but they're good. We get great <laughs> feedback from our most loyal. <laughs> Go ahead, users. <laughs> no, and I, I, I just want to touch on the parking thing because you talked about how we developed the program. Like that was something that we heard directly from people saying, hey, if I could earn points to get parking, that is something that would really interest me. And it's one of those things that we get rave reviews for of like, I didn't know that I could do this. You get a, a you know, an MOA insider's hang tag and you get to park in the front row on the way in. So it's, it's like great. the... Uh Wayne and Garth with their backstage pass in, yeah. in yeah. the movie, yeah. you get that that little status symbol that you can hang in your front windshield. It's yeah. really kind of fun. And, and research has shown, and we've done this many, many years at Mall of America, is that one of the number one aggravations during the holiday shopping season is parking. Parking. Right? So this really rewards people that are part of this following, which I think is awesome. 
Yeah, Matt touched a little bit on the holiday rewards piece. So holiday rewards at Mall of America has been 15 years. This is our 15th year of holiday rewards. I, um, As we were talking about this year's version of it, we went back and looked at the first year and it was started in 2009, right after a recession in right 2008. Up, that's where right? we started it. Yeah. It's like, hey, how do we incentivize spend? And that at that point, it was a lot of manual work, right? Like Matt talked about receipt scanning and in the app, like none of that existed. So there's, there's stories about people People, re, you know, typing in receipts. Oh, and, we were oh, here. And, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chris, talk about into it. pages of books yes. and the lines were super long because yeah. that was the only way you could get re your rewards. But it almost looked like a, a makeshift accounting firm. It was. was set you know what, they had little yep, visors, yep, exactly. right? They really did. Running their abacus yep. and chain smoking and putting <laughs> over I was one of the people in line oh, sure. <laughs> with my stack of receipts and my little two-year-old running right behind me, yeah. right? It was, it was, but it was great back then. And this is just- Absolutely. It was awesome. But this is how things need to evolve then. Yeah. Yep. yeah, we listen to the guests. We try to make things better, easier, more efficient, not only for the guests, for ourselves as well, yep. right? So um, what other, what other, what else excites you about, not just Black Friday weekend, but the holiday season here at Mall of America? I'm just gonna look at any oh, of you. Gosh. For me, it's the decor, right? I just, what I, about love, it? I love walking around and everywhere you look, something something new and it feels like every day it's something different yep right like you i walk the mall quite a bit and you just always see something new yeah it's, and I, I love that i do too i do too uh it's it's true uh the decor is amazing and especially to have it be um so good on this scale is mm -hmm. is impressive because it's a huge space and i think we do it better than anybody else for me right now it is it really the uh, different activations that we have, the rotation of activations, whether it's our radio partner, Cool 108, coming in and broadcasting, the clouds uh, uh, event that we have. Yeah. But we have some new stuff, too, that's really exciting. And I just I love the diversity that we have because everybody gets to come in and share that space. And it's undeniable how good people feel in the space. It's, it's really fun. And one thing you see every holiday season is you will see a lot of guests, and I mean a lot of guests wearing hats, wearing reindeer ears, wearing uh, Christmas sweaters. I no longer call them ugly sweaters because they're all beautiful to somebody. That's yes, what I'm sure, saying. Sure, I learned enough, that at sure, Candy Cane Institute, sure, just right, saying, yeah. right? <laughs> uh, Grant, what's one of your favorite things? I mean, the I'm really excited for Gift Guide this year. Uh, we produce a holiday gift guide. This year, it is all coming from online influencers. So it is not oh, our awesome. staff. It's not our tenants. They are helping shop Mall of America and providing the must have gifts to our consumers. So really excited to see what they're shopping, you know, that diversity that's out there of what they're shopping for, who they're shopping for, what they're, what kind of deals they're finding. I'm really excited to see how that comes together this year. That'll so. be fun. Tomorrow morning, uh, Mall of America boasts hundreds hundreds of trees throughout our common area, right? Um, and they're beautiful, right? They're so much fun. Tomorrow morning, we do a unique event that only Mall of America does, nobody else. Nobody else in the world, I believe. <laughs> uh, I'm going to challenge you there, shocked. right? I would be shocked. Um, who wants to talk about what happens tomorrow morning with all of our team members? Uh, hey, tomorrow morning is the annual tree fluffing tree event fluffing. for tree fluffing. the Mall of America <laughs> team members. Yes. yes. Yeah, absolutely. So we all get together, we meet in the rotunda, and we get our... It's a very militaristic operation. <laughs> it is. Or very it much is. like Tommy Lee Jones rolling out the map and being like, all right, here, you're here, you're here. But uh, we all break off into different groups and work together to straighten and beautify all of the trees in Mall of America. You forgot the stop that we all go to Starbucks right oh, there. And that's coffee. why we start we in the start, rotunda. We start in the rotunda, we yeah. break, yeah. everyone goes get a coffee, and yeah. then we go. Everybody and thinks it's ceremonial yes. to start in the rotunda, and <laughs> it's out of necessity. <laughs> yes. that close it's like that. Yes. And they great. are typically ventis. Yes. yes. Very <laughs> much the so. kind you have. It's, it's you were here last year for I it, was. weren't you? Just brand new. What did you think is a brand new? I, I mean, you love seeing the the whole mall come together yeah. to do that. The team, right? The team building type thing. That 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 was great. I think it's awesome. Uh, I've been here 20 years almost now. I love the holiday season more than anything at Mall of America. I'm going to ask. Um, 
Uh, there is, uh, we have a tradition at Mall of America. We do something really special every year, and that is when the big guy in red arrives. I don't know how many details we can provide at this point, but it's always something really special. Can either of you guys talk about that at all? Or Absolutely. I, I'm close personal friends with Santa, so I'm <laughs> yeah. happy to talk about it. Well, in th- this year, uh, Santa's interested in spending a little bit more time with the guests right away. Um, because he feels that he misses a lot of the pomp and circumstance of the arrival ceremony. So the elves and some of our favorite uh, acts from around the Twin Cities are putting on a holiday talent show for Santa and Mrs. Claus. So they can enjoy it. Absolutely. When, can other people come and enjoy yes, this yeah, as well? we hope everybody comes to, Kids, comes to enjoy it. Kids, families? Families, yes. Awesome. Guests when is this? Ages. What's happening? It's going to be on the 21st, t- Tuesday the 21st. We're awesome. going to welcome Santa into Mall of America. He is very excited to be here. You know, he's arrived in so many ways here. He's arrived um, on a special Santa North Pole golf cart. He's arrived with reindeer. He's arrived with a marching band, right? We've done so many things over the year, but it never ceases to amaze me, the kids, how their eyes light up when they see him. Absolutely. It's, it's magical. Which is why he had the idea to be there earlier and see it. what they see as well. I love it. Why tease him? Why, why tease him? Yeah. Why, why sing to make him? Ju- he just, he wants to be here too. So that's I know. what's going to happen. Exactly. Yeah. I, I love it. I love it. It's one of my favorite things that happens at Mall of America. Um, I'm going to uh, ask a few final questions, and this is going to be kind of a speed round. Unless anyone else has something they want to add today, just going to say again, loving the shirt, Matt. For those that don't watch on YouTube, you really need to tune in because this is awesome, as is Chris's. Mine's not, sort of boring in comparison. Yours is kind of like <laughs> um, Silent Night. Yes. Thank right? You. It's got yeah. this. That's a very, very peaceful vibe. Very, 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 very gentle. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I just hope Chris gets uh, points for his new purchase. Oh. oh, I will say that the team down there, they they see me coming. They know, and they're they're very nice. To me. I think they're he's talking good. actual loyalty points. And oh, I'm happy, I thought you meant. I'm happy to borrow that receipt if one which does not want it. A great point <laughs> to make about this because the rewards programs from the retailers are separate from the rewards double program rewards. for the mall. Yeah. So double, double rewards. rewards. Yeah. Double it Absolutely. Up. Yeah. It's awesome. I'm going to give my receipt to Dan. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I would not cheat. I'm just saying <laughs> I would not cheat. It's a purchase. I, I have pride. That's, that's my right. Gift that's to you. right. Yeah. That's, that's a right. good gift. You're <laughs> generous. So we're going to do a kind of a quick speed round. Just don't think about this. And I'll just maybe we'll start here and maybe go back and forth. However, but uh, your favorite Christmas meal, holiday meal. Uh, I like scalp potatoes. I'm a big scalp potatoes fan for some reason. So. Okay, awesome. Chris. Meatball sliders on Christmas Day, King's Hawaiian roll. Oh, ooh, that sounds good. Yes, yes. Matt. Uh, Christmas Eve, we always make Abel skeevers, which are little stuffed pancake like things. Wow, okay. Count yeah. me in. That, yeah, yeah, that sounds really They're interesting. Awesome. What, um, goes in, what goes in them? Sorry. No, no, no. We do chocolate. Bacon, spinach, mm. they're, wow. they're delicious. That, and uh, how do you spell that? Yeah. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> I mean, Sounds very I'm sure that it does. Yeah, I, exactly. I uh, my, I'm going to throw in mine, too. Mine is we have tacos on Christmas Eve, and someday I'll tell you the story because it's pretty awesome as well. Uh, your favorite uh, holiday cookie? Cookie is the uh, the little pretzel, Rolo, and M&M. Ooh, those thing. are good, yes. I'm a big fan of the Spritz cookie, but I will tell you that the Barnes & Noble Cafe has a maple bacon cookie <gasps> that I'm Ooh. really excited to try probably right after this podcast, so Ooh. I'll update you next time. Okay. We may have a new front runner. I love it, okay. Uh, mine is actually the little Christmas wreaths with the two little red hots that are like oh, yeah. made out oh, of corn flakes. Oh, those are fun. I like those. Those, those, those are so fun. Much, yeah. uh, I love to get Christmas cookies from Baking Betty's here at Mall of America is Emily, the person who runs that is awesome. Um, but I also like Pepperidge Farms cookies. Sorry, the ones with like the peppermint crunch on top. Ooh, num, For num, our num. younger listeners, so could good. you explain what Pepperidge Farm is? <laughs> <laughs> For those under 70. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did I just date myself yet again? <laughs> Man, kids, I'll tell you. <laughs> sorry. Thanks for pointing out all my guffaws, Chris. <laughs> um, and your favorite holiday event? Uh, Here just, or anywhere? I just like going to meet Santa with my family. Love it. Uh, I would say Santa's arrival. I mean, that is the real kickoff of the season, tied with Black Friday. Awesome. Christmas morning, laying on the couch with the family. 
Nice. I love it. That um, is an event. Mm-hmm. That is, is an event. For sure. Taking care of yourself, right. resting and stuff. Mine is on Christmas Eve, we build, we have a contest. Um, my family is full of type A personalities on who can build the best gingerbread house. All of which started the year that we built a gingerbread house at Mall of America. Did we do one here? Until we did the world's largest. Okay. Just saying, I know. Not wow. that I've ever, yeah. Not yeah. That I've yeah. ever mentioned that yeah. before. Uh, your favorite uh, holiday song? Uh, ooh. Maybe the class of Silent Night. I'm going to go Silent Sorry, Night. It matches yeah, the shirt. Exactly. I love it. Christmas and Hollis by Run DMC. Good oh, I love choice. it. Uh, White Christmas. White ah, Christmas. Dude. What's the one that we play nonstop? Andy Williams? No, no. I da, 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 oh, Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it and I loathe yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it is ingrained in my it soul. <laughs> Thank you it's for really that. Bad. And I love it. And finally, um, your favorite holiday drink. Drink uh, hot chocolate peppermint schnapps. Ooh, numb. We do one that's called rumming around the Christmas tree at home that I really enjoy. Love it. We do like a spiced old fashioned. That's great. Oh, that all sounds good. I like a white wine. How boring is that? Throw some but cranberries put, in it. Don't throw some cranberries <laughs> yes. in it, right? Okay. Or a little holly. Yes. No. Do uh, that. Favorite yeah. holiday movie. My favorite holiday movie is probably, oh boy, let me think here. Uh, well, I, I, this is not my favorite because I'm at a blank, but I'm going to say Home Alone. But I'm going to think and I'm going to answer again after everyone goes. Fair enough. I mean, I kind of want to say Die Hard, but I'm going cool. to say A Christmas Story. Okay. Oh. Christmas Vacation. Chevy okay. Chase. Yeah. I'm changing mine. Uh, sorry, Jim, uh, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Oh, With Jim Carrey? Oh, okay. my gosh. He's so good. And little Mary Lou who, yep. and oh, oh, Faith Hill singing. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to cry yeah. now. The good. original animated or the No, no, the no, Jim no, the Carrey. live action, the Jim Carrey yeah. one, yeah. Uh, Muppet Chris? Christmas Carol. Yeah. Oh, I love Christmas Muppet Christmas, Christmas yeah. Carol. It's so good. Yeah. Well, we have a lot of work. Our teams and all of us have a lot of work and very little sleep coming in the next two weeks. I want to thank all of you for joining us today. Matt, it is awesome to have you on the show. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Was it as good as you had hoped and anticipated? Whenever you need me, I'll come back. Oh, fantastic. Chris, Grant, thank you so much. And thanks for all the work you guys are doing for the holidays. Really appreciate it. For everyone who tuned in today, whether it's on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, or YouTube, wherever you might catch our show, please tell all of your hundreds of friends to join us as well because these are awesome conversations and we love having you join us. And from all of us to all of you, we are wishing you a very happy holiday season. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode of So Much More. If you want to hear more, be sure to subscribe to our podcast wherever you find your favorites, including Spotify, Apple, or Google Podcasts. And you can also watch a video cast on YouTube. Go to podcast.mallofamerica.com to leave a review, ask a question, or give us an idea for the show. Until next time, thanks for listening. So Much More is presented by the Bloomington Convention and Visitors Bureau, the official destination marketing organization for the city of Bloomington, Minnesota. Before your next trip to Mall of America, visit bloomingtonmn.org for answers to all your travel questions, deals and packages for hotel stays, and so much more.